I discussed my personal opinion of how high XRP may go in this video. When I stated that I could see XRP reaching three figures in the long run, several people expressed shock and asked how XRP could rise to such a level. One issue. Is XRP genuinely upsetting anything that would lead to such a high rating in this video? I want to explain exactly how XRP was able to reach such valuations. But it won't be just me talking. I also want to show you some important videos where David Schwartz explains how large the problem they are solving is. After seeing this video, I believe you'll have a much better knowledge of the potential market valuation for XRP and a clearer concept of why I believe this asset might soar. This channel greatly appreciates your support as always. Please take a moment to like this video if you like these kinds of videos. Moreover, join my channel. If you're ever looking for a reliable source to purchase XRP, it will also be of great use to me. Now let's get started, and I sincerely hope you enjoy the material. As mentioned in the introduction, let's begin this video with a thorough description by David Schwarz of the issue facing the banking system and how XRP is positioned to address it. I believe that a lot of people overlook this. They tend to forget that our entire banking system is dysfunctional. All of the antiquated technologies in the world today are malfunctioning and barely functioning. Take a look at we are appending the system of moving value, much like Uber did to the taxi business and the internet did to information transmission at the moment. Our banking system's antiquated and antiquated rails are collapsing. The antiquated and collapsing banking system's rails must be changed. David Schwartz will discuss why cryptocurrency is the ideal way to modernize our financial system. Perfect FR is on the rails, and in the next two videos, David Schwartz will elucidate the precise rationale behind the global necessity of cryptocurrencies. And the true scope of this issue is crucial to comprehend because, as I mentioned in my video from last night, XRP needs to be solving a significant issue if it isn't already experiencing problems to truly reach the numbers. I think it can touch the three digits one day. To disrupt the market, there must be a problem that the solution addresses. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to do so. Not needing a high valuation in a significant problem must be resolved for XRP to reach these prices. I want you to pay attention to David Schwartz when he says that this needs to be a game changer himself so you won't have to rely on me to tell you anything about this. You don't need to have any faith in me. Observe one of the most intelligent engineers in the history of cryptocurrencies, explain to you the precise nature of the system's flaws and how XRP may resolve them. How many of you are aware of the distinction between settlement and payment? Not too many, so let me just give you a little overview. I go to a restaurant and pay with my Visa card, and they didn't give me a call after letting me go. The police claim that even though I paid for my food when I left, I still owe money to my credit card account. And since the payment hasn't been settled, someone still needs to send money to the restaurant or use whatever other payment method they use. Historically, payment and settlement have been completely separate systems. SWIFT is a payment mechanism with no functionalities. The settlement and the issue with that is that it makes it difficult to make a decent payment because, for example, you don't know if the recipient is legitimate, you can't verify their identity, and you don't necessarily know what the costs and exchange rates will be. We developed a mechanism for when the payment settles, and the only reason institutional payments have been separated is historical. These methods are remnants of the days when individuals used enormous magnetic tape spinners, similar to the ones found on bank transaction computers. There was no way to settle during the day because the tape had to be on the computer handling the bank's transactions, which required me to go to the settlement computer. Instead, we would physically carry it over to the settlement computer that spoke to the other banks at night. Once completed, users could easily access the settlement computer on their phones, experiencing the coolness of the 21st century while also uncovering the possibility of time travel. All you knew was that it was the 21st century, but if you were lucky, you could peel back a few layers and discover that you had traveled back in time. I'm not kidding when I say this. You are in the mid to late 70s in age. These money movement systems were constructed during the mid to late 70s and are currently malfunctioning, even if blockchain fails. If cryptocurrency in its entirety is a bust, payment the world is about to transform because Terry payments represent a multi-trillion dollar issue. 
it appears that cryptocurrencies are ideally suited to improve payment processing. And the reason we kind of concentrated on cross-border international payments isn't because we think domestic payments are wonderful, but rather because cross-payments are the worst. For example, everyone who has ever made an international payment likely has horror stories to share. The less extraordinary you have to be to improve, the worse things are to begin with. As I believe we can. Be incredible and perhaps even take over the payments industry, but we won't get there right away, so if we don't succeed, we can't tell you. Against the most serious aspect of the issue. What makes us bothersome, etc. That was the first focus, in a sense. And it, in my opinion, showed some maturity. From 2011 to 2014, this kind of attention, of course, finding a solution for payments is crucial. I want compensation, and if you consider any of the NFTs, please consider that I would like to buy them from you and sell them to you. I'm considering taking out a loan and expect to be compensated to repay the debt. For example, I want to be paid the same amount of money that I borrowed. We are simply sort of laser-focused on payments, since all of these other use cases require excellent payments. So, there you have it. According to David Schiss, cryptocurrencies can provide us with better, more effective means to transfer money throughout the globe. Our banking system is antiquated and dysfunctional. Solution today, so all that's left to do is take a look at which cryptocurrencies can genuinely resolve this issue. Cryptocurrencies are changing how money is moved throughout the globe, and this is a significant development. This is a huge matter, folks, between hundreds of trillions and quadrillions of dollars. The financial system is completely re-plumbing itself every single year. Just look at the largest cryptocurrency available at the moment. Bitcoin correctly, there is hardly any volume on Bitcoin right now, and enormous fees are hurting it. Do we believe that the $20 fees on the Bitcoin network could ever handle all of the world's worth, and do we think banks will ever accept a network where they are required to pay? Excessive costs for every transaction. Wait 10 to 15 minutes. Of course not, no, and Ethereum, the second biggest cryptocurrency, has nearly the same problems as the previous ones. Since you hold XRP, XRP is currently the obvious favorite to win. Which academic institutions will they choose after these new railroads are constructed properly? What more are we aware of? Ripple has assembled the team necessary for these significant organizations to truly accept this technology, which is a unique accomplishment in the cryptocurrency space. Another cryptocurrency project that is working on practically every cryptocurrency project that exists is screaming down with the banks and other institutions that we want to topple the system. We are looking for young people. We do not want anyone with payment or banking experience. Who wants to blow this place to pieces? Gentlemen, it is not the approach that will succeed in capturing all of the world's worth to represent the financial framework that you must utilize. Ripple employs Crade and other employees because they are experts in managing the repository of value. Philip spent his whole career working for the U.S. Treasury at Morgan Stanley and BlackRock. They employ people like Rosie for this reason. Rios was once the treasurer, which is why they employ former J.P. Sandy O'Connor Morgan. It's easy for me because they recruit people like Michael Barr, a former Federal Reserve employee and current Federal Reserve employee. These people know how to work with large institutions and how to implement next-generation payment systems. If you were to suggest that the top two cryptocurrencies can't fix the current issue, you should look at XRP instead since it has the technology to do it and the people to put it into practice. On my channel, I constantly state that XRP will never be the fastest. Although it won't ever be the most technologically sophisticated coin, it doesn't have to be. Simply put, it must be more advanced than what the institutions currently use and contain enough personnel to persuade the institutions to accept the new technology. Nearly every project that is available does not have the personnel to truly bring about the change, to enter the back rooms and demonstrate to these institutions how precisely they can use this technology to modify their processes. Large institutions find this to be extremely challenging. To truly comprehend the disruptive nature of this technology, which is why organizations like Ripple are necessary. Constructing I hope this helps you understand exactly what problem Ripple is trying to solve and why XRP is in such a unique position to offer the answer.
Many cryptocurrencies exist, but very few are anywhere close to where XRP is. XRP is ideally positioned to become the new rails that David Schwartz emphasizes the world desperately needs, and they have the team to make it happen. That is a point that I cannot stress enough. The world's greatest technology is at your disposal. Without contacts, you don't have a team, and your endeavor will never succeed. I want to complete this video, and just to briefly touch on one last item, it appears like this week's Bitcoin spot ETF will not be arriving. Regarding that, some speculations were circulating, appearing feasible, but the SEC is already collaborating with exchanges to truly obtain the SEC has filed these products correctly, which was not done previously. The SEC was merely responding to the SEC is currently collaborating with these issuers to position these things for authorization. It appears that we will have a spot. At the very least by early January of next year, if not before, a Bitcoin ETF, and to me, this indicates the impending bull market. Prices have been climbing for a while, so I believe we are already in the next bull market. However, I believe this will be the catalyst that truly puts everything into overdrive. There was a lot of news coverage about this being approved, but after that, the approval process stalled, and we heard nothing. After this approval, I anticipate a surge in liquidity. Guys, get ready to go back in. Still, I believe we're about to enter some really exciting times. I want to thank all of the guys for coming. If you did, make sure to like this update. I hope you enjoyed it. Furthermore, it truly does mean a lot to subscribe.